Deputy NSW Police Commissioner Catherine Byrne has been stripped of the role that brought her to national recognition after being sidelined by the state's new top cop. New State Police Commissioner Mick Fuller has made his first major appointment in the role, assigning the job of leading the state's counterterrorism unit and state crime command to Deputy Commissioner Dave Hudson. The counterterror gig has been held by Mr. Hudson's fellow deputy, Ems Byrne, since 2012, and is considered one of the state police force's key roles. Ms. Burns' responsibilities around counterterrorism have seen her address the state and become a widely recognized figure all around Australia. She took on responsibilities for communicating information around the 2013 Lind Cafe siege and the many terror attempts the NSW police force has foiled since. Ms. Byrne will now take responsibility for police support services. Earn Mr. Hudson's roles will take effect next month. The move comes after the deputy commissioner lost out on the state's top job when former police commissioner Andrew Scipione vacated the role last month. Emsburn was a favorite to become Mr. Scipione's successor. Emsburn and Mr. Hudson were both overlooked for the role, with Mr. Fuller, the lower-ranked assistant commissioner, being promoted above them to become commissioner. In addition to the deputy commissioner's role changes, Mr. Fuller this morning announced three addition deputy positions will be created. Following the recruitment process, the commissioner will appoint a deputy commissioner for metro field operations, a deputy commissioner for regional field operations, and a deputy commissioner for corporate services. These changes are designed to bring support to frontline policing and crime reduction in our community, a NSW police spokeswoman said. Woman said.